you're watching Gears. You know, a while back, LMC Truck decided that they wanted to put together a project vehicle with some of the TV shows and magazines that would showcase some of the products that they carry for classic Chevy trucks. And they had a project truck sitting back in one of the warehouses. Problem is, it was a long bed, and they really wanted a short bed. But we were able to convince them that a long bed is the perfect project because it would allow us to address one of the main questions that people have about these trucks. Is it possible to cut a long bed down into a short bed and do it safely? Well, first thing we did a few weeks ago was blow the truck apart and walk through the steps on how to cut down a long bed frame. The first step was to crank the music up and disassemble the front of the truck. The next step was to assemble our special bed tool and lift the old long bed off of the frame. Then, it was time for surgery. And after making the marks, we cut a foot out of the middle of the frame welded it all back together and ground it smooth. Okay, with all the surgery done, now we come to the part that everybody's wondering about. Is a short bed actually gonna bolt down on this shortened frame and fit properly? Well, before we find out, there's another modification that people are really interested in doing on these older trucks, and that is to relocate the gas tank out of the cab and put it under the bed. Now, obviously, if you're interested in doing this, now's the time to do it while you have the bed off. So that's what we're gonna do. To remove the old tank, the first step is to get the seat out of the way. Then just drain the tank and pull it out. Oh, oh look at this, man. There's been a mouse in here. <laughs> you want to see some fast movements, you want your big rat come running out of there. <laughs> now, obviously, there is no way that this tank is going to fit underneath the bed. So what are you going to do for a tank? We got the solution right over here. Now, what we've got here is a gas tank relocation kit from LMC Truck, and it's designed for you guys that want to get your tank out of your cab and put it under your bed. Now, as you can see, it comes with a new fuel tank, got the sending unit and the filler neck all in place. Then, of course, you have all the hoses and hardware, the fuel lines, everything that you're going to need to put this in and make it work properly. Now, you also get this little sheet metal plug that's contoured and bent just perfectly to fit the cab of your truck. So you weld this in place and it fills the hole where the original filler net came out of the truck. 
That is a nice touch. All right, let's see how this goes in. First, you got to get rid of this little metal strap that sits between the frame rails and the cross members, and an impact hammer will make quick work of it. The next step is to jack the fuel tank into place between the frame rails and then mark and drill your holes on either side. The tank is designed to fit perfectly in this area and the filler neck is located to work with the fitment of the bed floor. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. Okay, with the tank bolted in place, now it's just a matter of running your fuel lines and that's it. Now, take a look at how nice this fits in here. The tank sits down below the floor of the bed, the fuel fittings all below the floor of the bed. This is a nice setup. Now, I know some of you guys are looking at this going, there is no way that this went in that easy. Yeah, it did. Making this one of the best and the cheapest modifications that you can do to an old truck. The first step to laying out a new bed is to put the cross members in place on the frame. Now, since we had to cut eight inches off the rear of our frame, we'll need to drill some new holes in the frame rails for the rear cross member to bolt to. Next, we'll lay the wood planks out on the cross members so we can check the fit and make some reference marks for the gas tank filler neck and the bed panels. Now, this preliminary fitting will help you get your gaps right when you start doing your final assembly. Hey, welcome back to Gears, where we are in the final steps of converting a long bed Chevy truck into a short bed. Now, so far, we've shortened the frame, we've relocated the gas tank, done some preliminary fitting of our parts. Now, we are ready to start assembling this LMC bed. So the first thing we're gonna do is bolt this front panel to the bed sides, and you will need an extra set of hands on this. It's important that the front panel is the same height on both sides, so make sure that you're taking measurements and adjusting accordingly. Next, set the rear cross member in place and begin to square up the bed. You'll want to measure it diagonally as well as side to side to make sure that it's the same all over. Now even though these panels are new, they are reproductions. So don't be surprised if you need to open up a hole or fix a flange or do a little bit of trimming to get it to sit right. With the new panels all sitting square to each other, we also need to make sure the bed sides are sitting square to the floor so the tailgate fits correctly. And of course the tool to use is a square. Once everything is in alignment, tighten down all the bolts. All right, the next thing to go on are these wheel houses, and they just bolt on using the supplied hardware. After you spend a little time tweaking on them so they'll fit right. The last things to go on are these cross members, and they bolt to the flanges on the inside of the bed and the wheel housings. Now, a couple of things here. The bed wood sits on top of the cross members and then slides underneath the mounting flanges of the body panels. So as you can see, I used a three-quarter inch spacer here to make up for the thickness of the wood. 
Also, don't think that these panels are just going to fall together and bolt up right out of the box. It's just not going to happen. For example, these two cross members just bolted in. That third one, I had to redrill some holes to make it fit the wheel housings. And that's just part of putting together a new bed. It's up to you to make it fit. With the bed assembled, we're ready to set it on the truck and finally lay to rest any questions that you may have about fitting a reproduction bed to a shortened frame. At this point, it's just a matter of setting the gap between the cab and the bed. And tightening the bolts. Well, that's it. We officially have a short bed truck. Now admit it, some of you guys did not think that this bed was gonna fit on this truck, especially after we whacked a foot out of the frame. But as you can see, it bolted on just like it came from the factory that way. Now, the last thing to do on a project like this is to obviously put wood in the bed. An LMC truck has one of the nicest wood kits on the market, but there are some ways to make it even better. Hey, we're back and finishing up our new short bed that started out life as a long bed. Now, as you can see, we're in the process of fitting some wood into this bed to give it a classic look. This is how it goes in. Okay, the LMC kit that we're using features oak planks that are already cut to length and they're sanded smooth, so they're pretty much ready for your stain or your varnish. Now, to hold them in place, I've got these little shoulders cut into them, and you just take your strip fits down into the shoulders and that bolts to the cross member holding the planks in place. Now if you'll notice our strips have these hidden bolts so when you have everything bolted in you have a nice clean look. Now fitting the wood and the metal strips is fairly easy. You just start in the center, work your way to the outside fitting each plank as you go. Now just like with everything else on this project, don't be surprised if you need to trim or sand the wood or file some of the holes in the cross members to make everything fit just right. Remember, the more time you spend here setting gaps, making things fit, the better your bed's gonna look. The fuel filler net will require cutting a hole in the board that sits over the top of it, then installing the filler cap into the wood. This special cap stays flush and out of the way until you're ready to fill the tank. Now, don't forget, if you're gonna hide the bed mounting bolts underneath the bed wood like we are, you're gonna have to clearance some of the boards so they'll clear the carriage bolts. If you don't, the boards will never sit flat. Now, with all the wood fitted in place, you can see just how nice this reproduction bed really is. 
Now, obviously, there still needs to be a finish put on the wood, and that's going to happen later when the truck gets painted. But today, there is still something that everybody should know about putting a finish on wood. Check it out. Now, quick tip. Brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs. Born to burn. When you go to put a finish on a wood bed, everybody spends a lot of time on the top of the wood. And that's fine. That's what everybody's going to be looking at. But don't forget, you also need to put a sealer on the edges of the wood and on the bottom. And if you'll crawl underneath there, I'll show you why. The untreated edges and bottom will allow moisture to seep in, ruining the wood and causing it to split and crack. Just like this wood did. It's going to cost you a fair amount of money to put a nice wood bed in your truck. The only way to ensure that that wood's going to last for a while is to make sure it's sealed up everywhere, not just on the top. If you'd like to learn more tips to make your life easier in the shop, check out the tips page on the website. Okay, the next thing we're going to address are the tail lights. Now, like I said before, LMC truck has got everything that you're going to need to completely deck out the back of your truck, from the buckets to the wiring harnesses to the lenses to hardware to trim, you name it. So really all you need to do is choose how you want the back of your truck to look and put it together. The final step is to put the tailgate on. And that's it, guys. That's really all it takes to convert a long bed Chevy into a short bed. And that's it for us on this project, but not the end of the project. Like I said earlier, now this thing's going to go to other shows, shops, and magazines where they'll continue the buildup, and you can follow it right on LMC's website, so make sure you check it out. Better yet, you need to build one of these for yourself. And now, Parts Bin, brought to you by Royal Purple the performance oil that outperforms. If you've got a classic Roadster from the 20s or 30s, well, you know how much fun something like this can be when the sun's out. The problem is, the sun's not always out. And if you get caught in something like this in a southern rainstorm without a top, well, you're gonna have a bad day. Well, the guys at Rod Tops has got a solution for that in what they call their removable soft top kit. Now, check this out. You got a metal framework that's powder coated with all stainless hardware, so you know it's gonna last. Then over the top of that goes this heavy duty top material that's available in 15 different colors. So you can literally match this to the color of your vehicle. The best part is all of this transforms into a soft top that goes on and comes off in a matter of minutes and easily stores in your trunk or rumble seat area. If you're dealing with really nasty weather, side curtains are also available from Rod Tops. So whether you're driving a Model A or a Cobra or pretty much anything in between, a Rod Top will keep you dry when the rain starts coming down. With the price of gas going up all the time and the quality going down, everybody is looking for ways to squeeze more economy and performance out of what they're putting in their tank. And the simple act of keeping your fuel system clean is definitely a step in the right direction. And one of the best ways to do that is with Royal Purple's Max Clean Fuel System Cleaner. Now this not only helps with the fuel economy and the performance, but it also cleans your fuel injectors and it also stabilizes your fuel during long storage, so your fuel's not going to go bad on you. Also, it's compatible with gasoline, diesel, biofuels, pretty much whatever you're going to be running. So if you want to maximize what you're putting in your tank, Max Clean from Royal Purple is definitely worth a try.
What are you working on? Brought to you by Dake. If you have the dream, we have the tools. Today's What Are You Working On comes from an 18-year-old kid named Taylor Grafton from Steubenville, Ohio. And his project, check it out, is a 1945 Farmall M tractor. Now, you may not have caught this. Go back to the picture. Look at the engine. That is a V6 out of an El Camino. Now, you may be asking, how is this possible? Well, that's what we're going to tell you. This is what Tyler and his grandfather started with, a stock original tractor, but the engine was locked up. They really didn't want to rebuild the engine, so they tore everything apart and started restoring it. They painted the tractor, got everything right, and then when it was time to put the engine in, they grafted in the V6. Now, Taylor says the thing runs great. The power goes through the stock Chevy clutch and bell housing and then funnels into the original farm all transmission. And you can see by this picture, he has a lot of fun with this thing. So Taylor, to recognize you for having the guts to do something really crazy, we're gonna give you a Dake Arbor Press to help you on your next project. And since you say that project is gonna be a pulling truck, we're gonna give you a year's supply of four-wheeler magazine because there's a lot of ideas that you can get out of there for that truck. Now, the rest of you guys, if you wanna get your project featured on the show, you gotta send some stuff into What Are You Working On? We'll do our best to get it on the air. Also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter and Facebook because we got all kinds of cool stuff going on all the time. All right, that takes care of it for us today. We'll see you next time.